Hey guys, this is DFD, aka Dark Frozen Death, back with another video, but, um, this one's a little bit different, I'm just basically grinding in the background on this one, but, um, generally just talking about some stuff that's probably gonna be coming up, and a few things that kinda happened, too, that I honestly feel like I need to talk about, but ultimately I kinda don't, because it's stuff that you can probably find out from, like, other videos or other places around YouTube, but anyways, um, starting off with the things that's coming up, definitely planning on doing some more of the, um, EX bosses, because I've been looking at that, and I'm kind of tempted to run those. You'll see some of those clears on camera. But, um, I probably should start start knocking a few of those off. Just to see how easy some of them are, because, um, me personally, I haven't done anything below extreme on either side, so there's that. But, um, also there's, um... Some other games I wanted to sip and try and post too, if I can. But, um. And another thing on Kamihimi Project 2 is I might try a few more solos, because. I've been getting super close to getting the, the, um. The solo clear of Dark Malicious, but, um. It's like I keep losing around the last 10% or so. I don't exactly know why, but I think I'm getting. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Like, if I had, um. The light version of Apollo, then it probably wouldn't have been an issue, but I'm, like, super close. Like, I can definitely get that. But, um, I don't know. It'll just take a few attempts, and I'll probably just get it eventually. But, um, here's the other thing, too. I'm also probably going to try and post some more on Flower Night Girl stuff, maybe. Like, I've been thinking about possibly doing another guide on that one. Because there's a few people that's been getting in the Japanese side, and I kind of want to cover some of the stuff that they, um... That they set up and have in there. Because there's a few events that do repeat. And one of them, like the ongoing one right now, you probably do need to, like, figure out how to get the most out of it. Because it's a little bit tricky on, on doing that um, event. It's like a farming type event on Flower Night Girl. I've been playing a game called Idol Huntress, and I may show some of that off. But that game's kind of like... It's becoming so-so, because... I've been hard-walled on some of the content, and... The only other thing I got left is player versus player, which whales dominate, of course. So, there's that. And I'm super long overdue for doing a um, video of, um, Dona Dona. Like, I said I was going to do that, like, almost, almost like half a year ago, I think. But never got around to it. I'm definitely going to try and push that soon. But even then, too, there's, like, some games I've been playing that I've also streamed to my U Union Discord, because there's literally no stream restrictions on Discord. You can't see the videos, but there's no stream restrictions, so... I've been showing off some stuff I've been playing on there, so... If anybody's curious about seeing those, then, um... Let me know in the comments. I'll post, um... The link to that Union Discord, because anything that's Union-only is going to get cut off anyways, but that stream, um, section isn't. Plus, there's other games that people play on there, too. People have been branching out to different games and all that type of stuff. I mean, there's been people playing Blue Archive, people have been playing Nikkei, Star Rail, Genshin, a few other things. I've even tried some of those games myself, but, um, I don't know. I might actually start playing Nikkei. I kind of do like that Alice Girl from there. But, um, then on top of that, too, there's also, um, the game I'm designing. Been working on that again. Because I kind of, like, put it on hiatus for a while, because, um, a lot of other stuff going on. But, I am trying to push for that, because I really do want to try and get that game to come out. I have no clue when, when I will get it out, but I'm still, like, constantly working on it. I mean, I hate trying to make it sound like it's like, oh, it's going to come out, it's going to come out, but seriously, that's all it is. I'm, like, the only guy working on it. I honestly wouldn't mind help with, with making the game, but it's like... I'm still the only person there. I'm like a one-man team trying to create this thing. And I'm not trying to make it crap. Especially considering the fact that I intend on making a sequel. But at the same time, I'm charging for the sequel. The first part's going to be free. So I want people to like enjoy the first part. So it's like, okay, I can look forward to the sequel. Makes sense if you go that way. It's kind of like a put your best foot forward type thing. Besides, I'm sick of a whole bunch of AAA companies putting out some crap stuff, but then an indie developer shows them up very, very quickly. It's like, budget doesn't matter, guys. What matters is what you sip and, like, like how, how much 
you try to put into the game. Money does help, but there is free resources out there. Just look at the majority of stuff of RPG Maker. You just gotta learn how to use it, or even learn how to make your own, because you can learn how to program. Um, what was it? Java, I think it uses some type of coding um, language. But um, also when it comes to the stuff that I wanted to talk about, that's not about the uploads and everything. Recently, there's been some issues with YouTube, and it's like the things with um. And sorry, my computer's whirring in the background, but there's been some issues with YouTube's copyright thing and all that. I've even got slapped with a few, um, it wasn't strikes, but it was, um, claims. But I know I posted some stuff that could get claimed, so I'm not too worried about it. If it's a strike, then I'm very worried about it, because strikes is what knocks your channel out. But, um, there's been people out there that's been getting copyright strikes out of nowhere, and it's like, YouTube's little system was getting kind of messed up, so it's like, well, it's been messed up, it's just getting worse. And people have been mentioning about that, too, it's like, it's just crazy. So, that's part of the reason why I kind of treat YouTube as like a hobby and not a career, but at the same time, I'm not, like, trying to be like, oh, well, it's just there, I don't really care about it. It's like, no, I do care about my YouTube channel, I mean, it's grown to much bigger than I thought it would. Even though it's not that big compared to other channels. Because there's no... There's no way I could have considered myself having, like... Four digits of subscribers. Just making guide videos. And even one random video I posted has half a million views. I never expected that to sip and go that high. In fact, I think it might have 600,000 views. I'm not sure, but, um... I haven't checked and seen how high that, that video's gone on view count. But even then, it's like... It wouldn't... It wouldn't even ultimately matter how many views you get, it's more how many people watch the ads. Because that's what make, makes you the money, and that's why I don't make that much money off of YouTube, if at all. So, that's the thing. But at the same time, YouTube's kind of got that stuff working against them too, because you got they're trying to push shorts down people's throats. And there's like, no money to be made with the shorts, because it's, it's too small of a video to even toss ads into. And even then, more people are wanting to use ad blocker and all this other type of stuff, so it's like, it's screwing over YouTube, it's screwing over the creators, it's like, they need to learn how to fix something. Or get a better way for funding. Because if you're living off of just purely ads, then, well, the more link shrink things is proof of why it doesn't work that well. But, um, also, to some people may know this, but, um, I do look at a whole bunch of different other videos on YouTube as well, at times, because, um, there's times I might want some little inspiration from other stuff, if I see some other games other people are playing and all that. Because remember, I'm trying to design my own game, I wouldn't mind taking some ideas to try to like, make it better. But, um, there's that, I also enjoy other people playing some of the stuff that I play, because it's a way to like, connect with others and all that too. But, there are occasionally, sometimes, I sit and see something like, like, there's been a few arguments over anime that I've seen, or even been in, and it's like... My personal opinion, I don't get how people can actually act like that, because... Okay, it's one thing you really like the anime and all that type of stuff. You do get kind of passionate about it. I've been there. But, at least get your facts straight. Because there's been, like, a few different things with that one, too. I've even recently had a, a group of people try to harass me over data lab, and it's like, you guys didn't even have your, your info right. It's like, you keep twisting my words, and then... Somebody even just recently said something where it didn't even happen that way. And it's like, you claim so much to be a white novel reader, but you got your info wrong. And I pointed that out. I haven't heard anything from them since, but it's like, I pointed that out. And it's like, at least try to get your facts straight. It's not that hard. Just Google it. Just read the white novel. Just It's even out animated. Just look at the anime. But it's a mess. Like... Personally, that's part of the reason why, I'm, if you want to be honest, I don't really like Undertale all that much, because it's not the game itself. Like, Undertale is a very good series. It's just that the fans ruined it for me, because it's like, I don't want to put up with them. And this leaves a bad taste in your mouth, and it kind of carries over to the game itself, because it's like, okay, you're playing this, but then you're kind of reminded, okay, the fans are getting a little crazy. So, it kind of does ruin the experience for you, believe it or not. But, um... But yeah, it's like, it's like, it's not, it's not some sort of reminder not to do that in, um, 
comments in my videos, because honestly, I'll just take care of it if it happens anyways. I mean, I can always delete comments, but it's like, when y'all are on other videos and all that type of stuff too, you may end up seeing that stuff. It's like, just use your best judgment. That's all I can really ask. Just use your best judgment for anything, because um, the last thing I want to talk about too, apparently COVID's been on the rise again, because there's a few YouTubers I've seen that had it. There's a few people I know that got it, and it's just like, wow, it's really happening. Because... My personal opinion on that, I kind of figured it'd come back because so many people treated it like a joke. And it's like, it's not a joke. It is a actual virus. It was an actual pandemic. And if people would have sat there by hands in their houses, not doing anything, like a few countries, they wouldn't have this issue. So, COVID round two is most likely going to happen. Like, I've already seen it coming a while back, but it's most likely going to happen. So... Again, just watch yourselves out there. That's all I can really say. But, um, anyways, that's all for this. Like I said, more videos are coming soon, because I'm definitely going to try to clear some stuff with Kamihimi Project and try and do some things with a few other games, too. There's not too much I can do with Twinkle Star Nights. I mean, that game is stupidly easy. It's like, you get three specific characters on it, and I pointed it out on the guide video I did do, but you get three specific characters on it, and they just break the game. And it's like, they need to do something to counter that mechanic, or the games is going to be too easy to really care later down the line. It's like, it's like, should it really be like this? Like, I don't mind it. I still find the game to be kind of fun, especially since you're kind of restricted on some things. But it's like, it's too easy. I can't really do too much about it. But, um, but yeah, there's more stuff on Kamihimi Project. I'm planning on some other games like Flower Night Girl. Dona Dona, definitely. I really do need to make good on what I said on that one. Because I hate saying things but not doing it. So it's like, even if it takes like years down the line, I still want to do it. But, um, there's that. More on the game I'm designing too, because I'm going to try and push for that a little bit more too. Because I've been planning on doing another demo. So, I'm just trying to get it right. It's just that it's really difficult to work on some of the stuff as one person, especially since I have little to no coding knowledge when it comes to, like, JavaScript and all that. I can only just modify what the plugins are. But there's that, and, um, basically that's all I really have to say. It's like, like, more stuff's on the way. When it comes to different things, like, just both internet and, and in real life, it should be obvious, but I still should say it's just like just keep yourselves okay and safe out there because in my opinion a lot of stuff is going downhill i'm not trying to make it sound like okay the world's all screwed up and everything and there's nothing good like no that's far from the truth it's just the fact that it's easier to see the bad than the good and you just got to be smart about it but um anyways that's all for this i'm going to get back to this because i've been like constantly grinding this while I've been talking and trying to get a lot of stuff on burst time because I haven't done much with this event like I posted the um, heroic video and then that was basically it <laughs> but um I'm getting back to actually grinding this um event but anyways again more stuff coming soon that's all for now guys and take care